Congratulations, Jen, on, Thank on the you. award. Thank you very much. And what, what do you think was the, the biggest thing you learned on, on this film and, and that you're going to take with you to the next project? God, how to, I don't even know where to begin with that because, you know, this was my first feature mm -hmm. um, and it was a learning experience from, you know, from Word of God, made a lot of TV documentaries before, but just working at this scale, mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's a different proposition right from the start. Um, so I've learned a lot from that. Um, you know, I've learned the value of amazing collaboration. I've learned that with feature documentary, you need a long time in the edit and, and that just is the way that it is. Um, and you know that, that collaboration is, is everything. Yeah, and to, to get the right people on your team from the start, which I did, and um, I'm very grateful to that for that. What sort of role do you think cinematography plays in, in your documentary in particular? I mean, that, I think it's just one of the best things about it in, in, in a way. I mean, the story's amazing and everything, yeah. but the fact that you're able to capture such an amazing story so beautifully, yeah. I mean, and it makes it cinematic. How do you think your process of that, you know, has benefited the film and did you approach it in any particular way to make it so cinematic? Yeah, I deliberately set out to make a big movie. Mm -hmm. You know, I really wanted, and so I knew that I needed people that were amazing cinematographers but we're also climbers and there's not many people in the world that can do both those things. And so that search led me to um, a couple of guys that I'd, one I'd worked with before um, on Everest, um, very experienced, you know, had climbed Everest already three times. Mm -hmm. um, and then my Australian cinematographer who I'd worked with in a mountain environment before. Yep. Um, but probably most importantly was this young star called Renan Ozturk, who is one of the best mountain cinematographers in the world, um, one of the best climbers in the world. Um, and also one of the loveliest people in the world and, and he was um, an absolutely critical part of the, the crewing of this production because I knew that he was going to be able to make it cinematic. Mm -hmm. What I didn't know at the time is he also spoke fluent Nepali and <laughs> Sherpa so that was an added bonus but um, he was very comfortable in that environment because you got to understand that even at base camp it is incredibly hard even just to get up and walk around at yeah, times yeah. and yet he can operate in that environment almost as, as normal, but also that he shares the passion that I had for the story and all of the crew that I chose um, did. So it was a very deliberate decision because I didn't want it to look like, you know, um, most other Everest documentaries too that don't look as good because it's very hard to work in that environment. I wanted it to look like a big film. And I mean, the other big, big challenge that obviously came about from your film is the fact that halfway through the whole shoot, the story changed and the editing process to find the narrative. How do you think you approach that and and you know, can you talk a little bit about that? I think it comes back to what your original intention was in making the film. And even though everything changed, you're right, everything changed in that moment. It was the worst disaster in the history of the mountain. You couldn't ignore it. And it also changed then the fact that we weren't able to climb the mountain. But I actually was never making, it might sound strange, but I was never making a climbing film. Mm -hmm. And the essence of what I knew the story was, which I'd spent a lot of time preparing and writing treatments, when I look back at that now and I, I read it again, I read it again about two weeks ago, it, it, it actually is remarkably similar to what the film ended up being. Um, it turned into a more political film. Mm -hmm. So I think it comes back to knowing what the story is really about. Yep. You know, and what the story was really about was about a people, you know, moving towards self-determination and, 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 you know, the disproportionate risks that Sherpas take in taking foreigners up, up Everest. Yeah. Well, congratulations again. You've made a wonderful film and we hope to see what you do next.